Well, apparently City of the Malaya Tree random breakout is back. So this is it for you guys, I guess. I didn't actually expect it to be this soon. I expected the thing to reset on Monday, so... Oopsies. <laughs> well, let's take this. It's an epic buff. So, let's go. Uh, I was halfway through eating my breakfast and then I remembered that... And then I remembered that I should have video to record because I forgot to do the other one before this. Because I mixed up the timings for the reset of the breakout. So there's that. So fun, am I right? I guess this means that by the time I'm done recording, I'll be... Cough. I don't know, man. And my hush browns will be ready. Suppose that's like the one merit in this situation. Let me go. I didn't really expect City of the Milena Tree to be back so soon, though. I thought it would be like Lustrous Lungan Palace or something. I guess it's on me for expecting new content, I suppose. Hey! Oopsies, I'm gonna retry that. Come on, give me a, a yellow bed jelly, there we go. While I do admit distraction points are probably marginally better than whatever bad jellies is gonna give me. I still get that epic light buff, so I'm not really willing to give that up. Anyways, it might work, you know. Combis and all, you gotta just experiment with them to see how they go. If it's not good, then that's on me. But I hope it is. I don't wanna end up like my first random breakout in this map like for like the third time to be just me in 30th place or something that wouldn't be cool I don't think so unless you want to see me lose all my diamonds which is not very nice of you but I appreciate the sentiment so there it is I do like seeing other people suffer so this is karma I guess double jump 8 times to get your points I don't need to rush that one, hey, it's fine. By the way, I think I got bitten by insects last night because everywhere is itching right now, like a man. My face, my legs, ugh. Apparently mosquitoes fly slower in colder climates, so oh, that's just one more thing you western guys have up on us. Ugh, man, insects everywhere, I hate this. Gosh. At least I didn't wake up to the sound of mosquitoes last night, so it's the only satisfaction I can really get out of this. There we go. That's a buff for you. Treasures aren't all that good, honestly, but whatever, who cares? I got a good buff out of it. But yikes, man, really. You guys in the southern and northern hemispheres, y'all really have it good, man, with your four seasons and all. I want winter too. Do you know how warm it is here? Ugh. And it's so humid. So like, the heat also affects us more, apparently, because it's just really hard to breathe and it becomes really humid and really warm at the same time. And you know how climate changes. Apparently, like, my country reached a record temperature, I think earlier this month, probably. It was not great and it's only like, what? March, May, May, June, like, it's it's not even that bad yet, you know, like, the warmest time of the year, it's kind of just starting up right now, you know, it's supposed to get really warm in, like, what do you call it again, yes, June or July, and it's only May, man, like, come on, I mean, we really have a record hot temperature, it's not great, it's not gonna go great, oh, and I get, like, kind of cranky, at least even more cranky than usual if I'm in like warmer temperatures so there's that and for good reason all right man like if you're sitting in air conditioning yeah you're doing great man just come to stay in yeah you don't go outside actually no do go outside but like don't get heat stroke or something that's not gonna be very good for you there we go bonus time I suppose my one saving grace is the fact that it did rain like last night so it's just gonna be negated by the effects of the midday morning sun but hey man you know you take what you can get yeah one two come on come on come on one two there we go 256 honestly speaking that's not that bad it did take us from like 29th place to 21st so that's great nah what's that grow man Give me something good. Or don't, I guess. Mr. Grandpa over here can 
the guys to the top. So, um, all jellies. Ugh. Everyone is a valued customer in my shop. Yeah, I suppose so. One, two. There we go, speed. Wait, that's. No, there must have been a trick of the light or something. Yeah, I thought Mr. Grandpa for a moment there had like a rainbow trail and he was doing his fire blast, but it's probably just my imagination. I think it's just the skill. And then it propped at the same time. It's fire blasted. So it looked like rainbow for a moment there. Now that I think about it, it's probably only like a one cookie with a rainbow colored fire blast trail. And it's probably just unicorn cookie. Cream unicorn to be exact. Well, they are not that bad, honestly. It does make sense, you know, unicorns and rainbow trails. You find the unicorns dancing across the rainbow. And the leprechaun with a pot of gold at the end. I've never seen the end of a rainbow, though. Would I like to? I don't know. I mean, it's not like there's gonna be anything in the end of a rainbow, you know? It's a rainbow's just in the sky. I guess it would be cool to see one and take a picture. It's just a shame though, I get bitten by mosquitoes. I wish I lived on like a higher floor or something. You think mosquitoes can go up the way to the 10th floor? I don't know. They can definitely go up to the, like, the 6th floor though, which is where I stay. And it's not fun, I can tell you as much. You know, you, you hear no evil, see no evil, and you think of no evil. And I guess that's the one good thing about not waking up in the middle of the night. I don't have to deal with like... Just a feeling of knowing I've got mosquitoes on me, you know? Like even if I wake up the next morning, mosquito bites, you know? At least I didn't get to see or hear those little buggers coming off the my skin in the middle of the night. So there's that. I wonder if there's anybody who actually genuinely likes mosquitoes. I don't mean it in like the truly sort of. Oh, mosquitoes are fun and I like them because they annoy people. Like, what do you call it? You'll just like mosquitoes for the way they are. You know, when they suck the blood out of you. It's just the female ones. I don't have anything against male mosquitoes, honestly. But man, like, y'all female mosquitoes really need to work on something. Other than sucking the blood of your poor, unsuspecting prey. Like, learn from your male counterparts a bit, man. You know, ain't no need to suck up my blood. I don't think it's very healthy for you. I'm the last person you want to suck up blood from. Probably get like. Mosquito cancer from it or something. The Golden Cradle. Funny how I never noticed that was the name of this map. It's actually a pretty cool name if you think about it. We are delving deep into the farlands of the Golden Cradle to seek out what adventures life was within this cursed place. You know, something like that. Like, it sounds like a good name for like a chapter or something. We delving deep into the Golden Cradle. What prospects life will ask beyond? Will I need my husband here? Or a wifey? I don't know. Why are dryads female? I don't know. Is it cause people have a thing for trees? Actually, I don't think that's a question I want to have answered right now. I haven't even eaten my breakfast yet, thank you very much. Uh, and yes, I am aware that I did miss like a potion just now. But I can't be bored to replay. You know, there's only so much time until it's 11 o'clock and the game resets and I ain't got no more random breakout episodes to show you. Okay, I gotta make up for the one I missed on accident, so there's that. So I guess I have to record it later in the afternoon. Yeah, why you gotta be like that? Gosh, now that's two potions. What? Am I really gonna bother? I think not, Meister. You only live once or something. I don't know. That's interesting. Frozen bear jellies. Nah. Don't wonder. 10% faster movement speed. Alright, then I'll take you. Cherry blossom. Energy. There we go. Energy is honestly the best option you can get. I would say. Too bad it's all RNG based. There we go. Pick. Bumba. Yeah, give me all your jellies, man. Now that I think about it, this buff, I mean jellies buff, works pretty well with cherry blossom. Only that, her treasures also do as well. Like, look, the apple one gives you more jellies for each quota you reach. While this specific one here, which is the cherry pom-poms, also gives you a lot of jellies. 
Oh, whoopsies, I thought I was gonna miss that potion for a moment there. And I really can't see much for the curse mirror, but I guess that one gives you jelly still, so it's good. Though I am slightly curious on how all my destruction of obstacles gives me 10,000, it's weird. Oh yeah, that must be because they do equalize like your amount and your points in random breakout. And make you all have the max stats of like max level players. Yeah, I thought it was 9,500 points last time I checked. But I guess they added more of the new update. Look at that. Also, two cherry blossoms. Just lying in a line over there. One, two, there we go. One, two, there we go. I wonder if this is enough HP to tie this over. Probably not. Nah, it's fine. I could do it last double jump. Just in case, but don't really feel like it. It's been 18 minutes. Ugh, I really want to eat my breakfast. Come on, let's do this. 8,000 points for all bad jellies. Let's go. There we go, mister. I mean, he gives good points now that he's buffed. Oh my god. I got really lucky tonight. You could have the chance of getting his other pet, which is just horrible. Okay, I was really lucky. I got like Mr. Remy here. Good gosh. I, I really should like chat before I pick comedies in the future in case I pick up the wrong ones again one two there we go I was too enamored by the buff to really chat properly well ignoring my indiscretions let's just focus on playing for now come give me all your bad challenges yep 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 one two three four wouldn't this be really OP if I got on the legendary buff that stacks up like points and more bad jellies to get whatever too bad they took that out of the roster I wish they put it back in though I quite liked it kinda made fun to play there are a lot of jellies on screen right now if you really think about it you know we've got four leaf clovers we've got Mr... what was his name again? yes Mr. Minchuko with his violin playing we've got the little silver flowers at the bottom there and we've got the little thunder shop thing that comes every once in a while. It doesn't give you any jellies, but just gonna mention it anyways, you know. Come on, come on. Give me a HP potion. One, two. Yo, hey, pet. Why no HP potion? Come on, man. What are you doing? Bro, hey, hey. This is a scam, man. I deserve that potion. Jeez. Whatever. It's fine, it's fine. Let's move on, seven combi. Nar. Who wants that stuff? I'm looking for a buff and a buff I think I shall not find. But I have found Mr. Cherry Bomb here. Oh bear jellies, there you go. I wonder how much this stacks up to in the end. Hopefully it's gonna be like a lot or something. Come on, let me fall into a hole or something, please. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Speed. Come on, and then this one's just a free little ride up into the vine cavern, or below it, I guess. Because I've been so dearly corrected by the map name, down the vine cavern. Oh, and how I never really took notice of their map names though. Usually I do that for like, other random breakouts, I guess not this one. It's weird. There we go. There are a lot of ice bear jellies here. I wonder if that epic buff from earlier would have come in handy, huh? Who knows? I guess it's only something for multiverse me to know. Yeah. Just gotta check in with them once in a while. To find out if North Korea has bombed the world yet. No, I'm kidding. It's not even North Korea that's the problem anymore. It's probably like Pakistan or something. One, two, three, four, one, there we go. Kinda sad if you think about it. Like, man. If you all just agree to deactivate all our nuclear nuclear bombs, you know, all the way back in the 1900s, we wouldn't be in the state we are today, you know? Like sure, the world's already going off to a close end with climate change, but I would imagine nuclear bombs are a much more immediate way of doing that, you know? One, two, there we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me up. Come on, man. There we go, 10th place, 519 points. 8th combi. 
<sighs> oh, my neck hurts. Man, I do not look forward to doing this later again. Recording, recording. Don't think there's a bonus time here, so it's kind of useless to me. Frozen bear jelly party. Sure, why not? I know there's a legendary over there, but like, I can't really be bothered right now if you really think about it. Let's see, 12. A 12, 12, 12, 8, 24, 24 plus 8, 24, 32, 32,000 points for all bear jellies. Eh, not too bad if you think about it. Come on, give me obstacles, there we go, here we go, give me them all, I need all the points. Wait, doesn't that mean if I took that epic drop just now, I would be like, like, reveling in the sports of war right now? No, not too bad, I guess. Once you miss on something, that's it, huh? So I guess that's today's life lesson. If you got an opportunity, don't waste it, man. Just grab it by the hands. Kidnap it, abduct it. Chain it up if you have to. You gotta take that opportunity and then you become a victor in life. Don't be like me or something. I actually don't even know. It's kind of like gambling if you think about it. Like, who knows if that buff would have really ever been useful, you know? There we go. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Obstacles. There we go. Yeah, he he oh, you one. Mr. Poison. But you just know that I'm gonna want coming out on top at the end of this. Or something. Don't quote me on that, alright? When I eventually lose this. It's called a spur of the moment victory dance or something. Yeah, who? Who oh, you want, mister? I will not fall for your tricks. One, two. I just gotta make sure to proc her ability. There we go. Yeah. Come on. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, let's jump. Yeah, number two. I knew Scorpion was the best. Best choice for me here. There we go, Mr. Scorpion. Mr. Scorpion. You are the one I really need in my life, instead of Mr. Poison Bag of yours over there. For the sake of the cookies. Undo, there we go. Destroy an obstacle with the peaches. Rebel, huh? Rebels and government officials. He's basically just with Robin Hood, but like Korean, you know? Robin Hood, Robin Hood. And he also doesn't have a love interest. Unless you're gonna tell me that his love interest is like Vagabond Cookie, which is. I'm actually surprised him not to oppose though, I suppose. I mean, despite how he looks, honestly, Vagabond Cookie has. Not Vagabond, sorry. Wait, no, it is Vagabond. Wait, no, it's not. It's the other dude. The one with the fan. The storyteller. I'm just gonna call him Storyteller for now because I actually can't remember his name. But, anyways, the Storyteller Cookie. I mean, he's, he's, despite how he looks, he's actually not that bad, you know? Like, really. He doesn't have that bad of a moral character. If you really wanted to, you could probably have like this friendship thing going on in between Vagabond and Storyteller. But who knows, man. And if you really wanted to, you could also have some sort of, what do you call it, romance thing happen. Like, Lily Bell and Blue Lily. You know, I've never actually thought about it. <gasps> okay, whoopsies. I've never actually thought about it, but like, their names are so similar. Though. They were really in it. I suppose it's meant to highlight their like closeness or whatever. Come on, come on. There we go. It should be enough HP to tide me over to the big portion over here. Yeah, there we go. One, two, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Surprisingly enough, this seems to be enough for us. Yeah. Alaska activation. There we go. One, two. There we go. 513. That's... If I'm not wrong, that's actually surprisingly close to what Scorpion got. Huh? Alright then. Suppose. Who are you? Epic buffs. Sure, I guess. Doesn't really matter now. What is with this roll? Hey man, don't be like that. 240,000 points. Um, 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 uh, uh. There are a lot of bad jellies here, but is it 
you know what i only played random breakup once and at least this specific random breakup once and you know what if i lose you so be it man it's my choice and these are the consequences but i really want to see how this goes man come on come on give me give me give me give me give me all your bad jellies i need them all come on there we go bounce all you like mister at the end of the day all the bad jellies are mine <laughs> come on bad jelly bad jelly there we go there we go whole bunch i know there are like quite a lot of bad jellies here but i'm not sure if it'll be enough for it to really work based on this doll's little skill here but okay then there we go collect them all i will have every rainbow of bad jelly in the world and you cannot stop me one two there we go it's weird i thought you could play with that oops all right we're gonna be careful here i thought you could like go into giant mode on that one section and still collect all of the jellies there but i guess not you're gonna have to jump to get the rainbow bear jellies one two there we go come on just one more bear jelly there we go three four there we go 440 million not bad not bad and we are first place too i didn't expect this to be honest like sure i guess we did have a bunch of well buffs but i didn't think it would be enough to tide us over to rank number one uh, it'll get harder in the following episodes so don't worry about that i guess let's say thank you to our comrades here and that's it for today take care of yourself and love ya. Yeah.